everyone. So today's video is about cast iron pans. And I'm also gonna do a quick little recipe, one that I often make in the frying pan when I want a quick, easy, and very tasty and healthy meal. So hang in there, we'll try this out. So one of the things that kept me from buying cast iron pans is the seasoning process. It just seems like it takes a long time to get that non-stick coating on a cast iron pan to where you can just use it like your normal non-stick pans. Cooking healthy food is already time consuming enough. Going through the process of seasoning a new pan just did not appeal to me. In researching pans, I decided to buy some Lodge pans and just bought them off Amazon because they were a pretty good deal on there. I went to their YouTube channel and they pretty much said to cook an egg on one of their pans, you peel the sticker off, put some oil in and cook an egg. I'm like, no way. Nobody online that I've seen has like, oh, just buy a brand new pan, put some oil in it and cook an egg. Everybody's like, it takes weeks, months, decades, who knows, <laughs> to build up that non-stick layer. So today, I tested it. And on one pan, I did exactly what Lodge said I could do, put oil in it. On the other one, I decided to just season it once through a, a traditional method and try it. And you're gonna see the results in just a minute. I have two of them here. <laughs> One of them is, what is this, like a six and a half inch. And the other one here is a 13 and a half inch. So it's a pretty big one. Uh, on the Lodge uh, YouTube channel, they have a video that shows uh, a brand new pan with the sticker on it. They peel it off, put oil in and cook an egg. <laughs> so uh, a lot of people on other videos are kind of freaking out that it takes a month, weeks, uh, and a, or a lot of, you know, seasoning effort to get these ready to cook an egg. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give that a try. And then on the big pan, <coughs> if I can pick this one up, <laughs> see how big that is next to my head. Uh, on this pan, I am going to season it kind of using uh, the method that uh, a lot of people recommend using a high heat oil. And in this case, I'm going to use avocado oil. Um, another oil that a lot of people use is canola oil. Uh, the other oil that is probably the most popular is flaxseed oil. I just don't have any, and I think avocado oil should do the trick. So, and avocado oil of, of all the a lot of the healthy oils, this one has a high smoke temperature of like 400 degrees, if I remember right, which is why I chose to use the avocado oil over olive oil, which has a much lower smoke uh, temperature. So I'm going to test it for you to see if you really can pull the sticker off and cook an egg in it. Okay, so the first step, take the tags off. Okay, put a little bit of water in there. Making sure to dry it really good seems to be the key. Some people say to heat it, but on this lodge of video that I'm following, they did not say that was necessary at this point, so we're just Trying to get it really dry by hand drying it. I think you know in the future using it, heating it after you oil it is probably not a bad idea. Okay, so the next step is to let it heat for five minutes on a medium low heat. All right, so it's been heating for five minutes. So we're at about 255 degrees. So let's try the water test at that and see where we are. It still seems pretty hot, but I think we're pretty close. So, let's put some oil in. There we go. Alright, let's do the egg. Maybe, there we go. Bought this small pan just because it's uh, about the right size for an egg. And it's pretty common for me, even when I am cooking an egg, sometimes I'll just lift it off the heat. If I think it's cooking too fast, if I don't have the temperature just right, that's how I like to do it. And people online seem to think this is a near impossibility to cook an egg this soon. I think one side I was looking at said, you know, it may take a couple of months. Now, of course, if you're not cooking every day on it, that may be true, but... Um, I did see that uh, you know a lot of the manufacturers and people who've done a lot of studying said that um, using some sort of animal lard is not the best way to season a pan. Um, it seems like canola oil or flaxseed oil 
um, were some of the most popular. Or just Crisco shortening seems to be popular as well. But um, I'm excited to try the avocado oil because it's got such a high heat tolerance. So let's go ahead and flip it. Let's see, here's the test. Well, not terribly sticking, I gotta be honest. For the first time cooking, I'm fairly impressed so far. Wow, look at that. It's a tiny pan, so it's a little hard to flip, but look at that. Wow. And I did see that on their website, they said seeing some of these little, little black is fine. It's just some of the seasoning that comes pre-seasoned, so don't let that freak you out. It is not like a non-stick pan where that would be a very bad sign. So, um, Lodge actually uses canola oil, it said. Uh, at least the spray that you can buy is canola oil. I can't remember what their manufacturing process uses canola oil or flaxseed oil for pre-seasoning. But I gotta say, that's pretty impressive. No, no pre-seasoning needed. So now I'm, I'm starting to think if it's worth the trouble to go through that seasoning process with the avocado oil. <laughs> but I'll do it anyway. And let's see if we're sticking here. Not sticking, look at that. Wow, all right. Grab my plate. Woo, wow. Look at that, you can see that it is clean. I mean, it pretty much had no stick. Impressive, no wonder people like Lodge so much. Okay, so for this pan, we're gonna do the other, bake it for an hour and see what happens. Trick. So I'm gonna put a little avocado oil on there, rub it all over the pan, inside and out, and then wipe it off, make sure you got a nice thin layer, and then we will cook it for one hour at 350 degrees, and then we'll try cooking an egg. Now I'm taking a dry piece here, and I'm just gonna wipe off any excess so it's not on there super thick and gooey. And then they say to put it in the oven upside down at 350 degrees. And by putting it in upside down, it supposedly not only helps trap the heat in, but keeps the oil from pooling up around in this edge right there, so let's give that a try. Look at sheet down there to catch any oil that may drip. I, did, I doubt there will be any, but you never know. And then we'll go ahead and put the pan in there upside down. I don't even know if I can lift this pan with one hand. So heavy. <laughs> All right, we'll check on that in an hour. Okay, so it is the next day because last night I uh, put the bigger pan in the oven, let it go for an hour, and then you're supposed to let it just cool down naturally. So I just shut the oven off and I uh, thought today I would use the pan to make my, I'll call it brunch. <laughs> um, so, pan is in there. There's the pan, just got it out of the oven and now I will heat it up. Yeah, so it's coming up a little bit in degrees. So for my, one of my favorite brunch meals I like to make is, um, and I've put this in other videos, but I like to grill up some mushrooms, have some eggs over easy, and then I'll slice up some avocado and put some pesto on the whole thing. And <laughs> that's one of my favorite brunch meals when I'm doing sort of intermittent fasting and I don't eat until uh, about noon or a little or early afternoon. Um, cause it's a nice filling meal. I don't get a gut bomb from it and it tastes amazing. Yeah. So we're getting to the point now where it's about ready to, to cook. So first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of olive oil and then use my spatula to spread it around. Whoa, kind of splashed it. Okay. 
That's quite a bit of oil. I probably didn't need that much oil. So I might dab some of that out of there. All right, now we'll crack some eggs. I'm gonna pause the camera while I do this. Well, I guess I can try a one-handed crack. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, got a shell in there. Hey, that was better than last night with my other one. Gotta get that shell out though. Come on, open egg. Open. I can do it. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. You think with how often I do this, I'd be able to do it a little better. All right, let me get my spatula and clean that up a little bit. But I'm saying so far, I'm almost immediately able to move those eggs around. I mean, it doesn't feel super sticky. It's not super smooth. You can probably see the, the surface there is a little rough and I know that the more I cook with it the the more smooth that'll become but a little more sticky than the uh, than the small one was I can tell right away but not sticking super bad that one could probably still stand to cook a little bit longer so could this one but so far I can tell that I'm getting that under there and it's not really sticking at all look at that so wow not as non-stick as a non-stick at this point, but it's a brand new pan, so... Wow! That's impressive. For my first time cooking anything in this pan. You can see that seasoning coming off a little bit from the uh, factory seasoning. Alright, there you have it. That is my brunch that I like. Some sliced avocado, a couple of eggs, some mushrooms, and the basil pesto from Costco and then usually what I do is I just kind of chop it all up and mix it into one big ugly looking mess but man is it good it tastes really good so here's what the pan looks like after my first cooked meal in it so I gotta say I was expecting a big mess and scraping and all sorts of uh, fighting this pan uh, <laughs> But I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with this lodge pan with how well pre-seasoned it already is. Uh, if you haven't made the switch to cast iron yet, because you were kind of like me, like hesitant with all the care and maintenance and everything, it's really not that big a deal. Uh, it really is not that big a deal. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video today. Hopefully it was helpful and you not only learned a little bit about uh, using your brand new cast iron pans, but also a, a tasty recipe that you can make that's healthy, filling, and uh, tastes great. All right, thanks everyone.